Hey, Claudia. Hi, Miss. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Miss, I have yes. a question. Yes, what's your question, Claudia? Uh, in the platform, I work um, as the um, section section four. Uh -huh. But my uh, el porcentaje uh -huh. is is uh, fifty four. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And you finished everything, Claudia? No, only uh, se section five is uh -huh. incomplete. Okay, uh -huh. but section four is completed. Yes. Uh -huh. And on the progress, you only have 54. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And everything is correct, Claudita. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. Dijese que ahorita eh, parece que la plataforma está teniendo como dificultades. ¿Verdad? Pero en eso están trabajando los compañeros para ver si, eh, cómo lo, lo arreglan. Pero sí, varios alumnos están con esa, esa dificultad, pero no es más nada que hay un como error en la plataforma que a veces se satura, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no se preocupe. Igual les voy a comentar a ellos también para que estén pendientes y cualquier cosa cuando ellos me avisen, yo le aviso a usted, Claudita. Oye. Vaya, muchas gracias. Excellent, very good. Hi, Mireya. Hi, Ana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm happy. It's Thursday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the last class this weekend. <laughs> yes, the last class. Yes, very good. Yeah. But you know what, Anna? I have other groups that I I, I have to teach tomorrow anyway, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But from some groups, I rest, and from other groups, I don't. So that's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. So, uh, Mireya, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hi, Mireya. How are you? Good. It's fine. Thanks. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm very happy. It's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Very, yeah, no kidding. All right. Very good. All right. So, what? Any plans for the weekend, girls, or not really? Stay at home? Stay at home. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's better, Mireita, to stay at home. Ana, no, no, salga, Ana, no, salga. <laughs> Probably, yes, stay at home. Okay, very good. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I usually I do the, um, the grocery shopping on Saturday, so I have to go out on Saturday. But okay. only to the market, to the supermarket. <laughs> yes, it's necessary. Because yeah. I I will go to the buy the some food or mm -hmm. the other thing. Do you need? Maybe. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. So we need to go out for a little bit. Very good. All right. So it's eight o'clock. We're gonna start. I guess your classmates are gonna be coming in soon. Javier is here. Hi, Javier. Hi, Javier. Hi, teacher. How are you, Javier? I'm fine. Excellent. How was your day today? Everything okay? Everything okay. okay. Yeah. That's good. All right. All right. Do you have to go out to work, Javier, or you're working from home? Today, I, I work uh, from home. Okay. Okay. So, no traffic today, then. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Sometime right now I, I work I work outside. Okay. But today work. you stayed home. Stay home. Okay, yes. very nice. That's good. Very good. Good. All right. Let's see. We have hi Jose Mariano. How are you? Good night, teachers. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Jose. Welcome to class. Hi Gabby. Hi Alex. And I think I think it is. I'm not hi, sure. Andrea. Hi. Hi, Gabby. How are you? 
I'm doing okay. Thank Excellent. you. What about you? I'm just doing great. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing okay. great. Very good. All right. So we have Alex and Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Excellent. Very good. I'm happy to see you guys. And I'm very happy that you can join me on this uh, night, Thursday night. Remember, tomorrow we have no classes. I know you don't forget that, all right? But just, just okay. in case you want to have class tomorrow, no class tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and we will not have classes on Monday. All right. Because it's a uh, holiday, right? So uh, next okay. Monday, no class. So you're going to have a long weekend. No, que mala suerte. Que barbaridad. <laughs> <laughs> but next week, guys, we're going to have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we finish. Okay, we're going to have class Friday because we don't have class Monday. All okay. right? Okay, so that, that way we finish on the week. All right? Si no nos pasáramos un día más, and that's useless. All right? So that's why we're going to have next week classes on no Monday. I mean, we're not going to have classes Monday, but we're going to have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we finish. Okay? So fast, eh? No, no les parece que va así como flying. El tiempo. I, I think it yes. flies. Very quickly. Super quickly. I mean, it's Christmas already. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love Christmas. Do you guys love Christmas? So, so. Yes. So, so. It's my favorite. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's my yes. favorite season. I love it. I love Christmas. <laughs> All right. Imagine. Estamos en marzo cuando en la cuarentena y pues ya es noviembre. Imagínense. Oh my goodness. Anyway, mejor aprendamos inglés. Very good. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. Very, very good. So today we're going to continue talking on section four. All right. And we're talking about, remember yesterday we were talking about models and adverbs of possibility or probability, right? Remember, let's see. What are, remember some of the um, model verbs that we were using yesterday, guys? Do you remember any? Yes. May, 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 uh -huh. may, uh -huh. must, must, yes, very good, all right, and what about the adverbs, do you remember any of the adverbs? Maybe, may, perhaps, maybe, perhaps, 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 definitely, definitely, Definitely. Right. Excellent. Yeah, Definitely. bravo. Definitely. All right. That's the pronunciation Definitely. of it. All right. Solo practíquelo. Ya, ya va a ver que despuesito is like going to be very easy. Definitely. All right. Muy bien. Now, what is the difference between those two? Can I use any or it depends on something? Can I use adverb or a model verb and it's okay or not? I have to use one or the other one. Can you tell me? I forgot. It, it depends uh -huh. on, the, on the, the possibility. It depends on the possibility. All right. Yes. Okay. I hear you, Javier. But um, for example, I can say, I don't know. Um, what can I say? I'm not thinking today. Um, in a sentence, can I use only model verbs for possibility? Or I can switch to use an adverb, Javier. And it's going to be the same or not. It's very different. Mm. It depends depend strong of, of the idea. Okay, all right. That you have to do. Okay, but very good. In, uh -huh. in some case, uh, you can uh, switch. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay, so remember that yesterday we were also saying that we have a slight possibility and a strong possibility, all right? Do you remember the adverb? No, sorry. Do you remember the model verb that is in the middle? Which which model verb can I use that is in the middle? Like 50. Who? Probably. Yeah, good. And probably for the adverb. Very good. Okay. All right. What about the model verb that expresses almost 100% of probability or possibility? Must. All right. Must, must, right? Very good. And what about adverb? Definitely. Definitely. Def definitely. Very good. Definitely. All right. Very good. Lo van a pasar diciendo toda la clase. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right? Definitely. Very good. All right. So, very good. Let's see. Um, Maybe... Hi, Hector. I can see Hector now. Thank you, Hector. 
All right. Um, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hector. Andrea, do you remember where, in a sentence, Andrea, where can I place the adverb maybe or perhaps? Where? At the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of my sentence, Raquel? I mean, Andrea. In the beginning. At the beginning, very good, all right. Now, Hector, if I use an adverb, okay, maybe like maybe or uh, definitely or possibly or whatever adverb I'm using, but I'm using it with the verb be, Hector, where do I place the adverb? Hi, Fernando. Where do you place the adverb? Uh, the adverb is gonna place uh, after the subject. Yeah. Uh huh. So well, I say in the, in the he structure? maybe is. I if I'm using yeah, yeah. a verb be, mm -hmm. Hector, I say, for example, he uh, perhaps is, I don't know, a musician. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. Are you sure? Yeah, Hector? it's Mr. correct. Serna Quintanilla. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, no, no. It is before the, the subject, right? Perhaps uh, he is a musician. All right, but okay. No. If you, okay, yeah. If you use perhaps or maybe, yes, it's before. Perhaps he is a musician, all right? But if I'm using another adverb, for example, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, definitely. I say he is definitely a musician or he definitely is a musician. He is definitely, he definitely he or he is definitely. No, the second one. I'm sure the second one. Or, or I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Remember I that. After, that the second one. <laughs> remember that after the verb be, you need to use the adverb. All right. He is definitely a musician. All right. All right. And then if you use a simple present tense, if you're not using, for example, the, the verb be, then yeah, you have it right after the subject. Okay. He definitely sings well, for example. He definitely sings well. So I have he is the subject, definitely is the adverb. All right. And then the rest of the sentence. Okay. But when you use the verb be, Hector, you need to use the adverb after the verb be not in between all right yes so he is definitely a musician okay. he's definitely happy so it's subject so it's subject mm -hmm. uh, plus verb be yes uh, no the, yeah yeah and the plus other verb and other and the other okay. that's right if you're using the verb be hector if you're not using the verb be subject and adverb okay uh-huh all right, okay. so you need, to, you, you need to remember that difference. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Vane, Alex, uh, everybody? Yeah. Yes. Excuse me, Alex? Is the same for the models. For the model verb, it's always, always going to be like after the uh, subject. All right, so he must or, uh-huh. Sorry? If we use verb to be? Uh, give me a sentence so we can see it. For example, I don't know. He could, he's, I don't know, he must, a musician? He must be. He, he must, must be. be a musician. All right, oh. he must be. But remember, um, Alex, that for the model verbs, they don't need anything else. They only need themselves, all right? So oh. the, the, the model verbs are very special because they have their own rules. So okay. every time you have a model verb, it's going to be right after the subject. All right. And then the other, and then the verb in the base form. That's why we say he must be a musician. An adverb is in third person verb. Yeah, that's right. If it's necessary. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank All you. Right? Very good. Yeah. You're welcome, Alex. Very good. Okay. So uh, Vanessa, welcome. And Jennifer, welcome. All right. Um, guys, if you're able to turn on your cameras, I will appreciate it. Hi, Sahira, how are you? Good right. evening, teacher. Good evening, nice to see you. I'm thank fine, you. thank you. Excellent, very good. I'm happy to hear that. All right, so guys, we're going to continue. 
today talking about no more probability or no more possibility, but we're going to be talking about permission, obligation, and prohibition. All right. Now, before I take you to the platform and before we see the PowerPoint presentation and before we go all those things, I want you to tell me, Anna, can you think of something that you are not allowed to do in your life? All right, think um, about something that you're not allowed to do. Anna's thinking, but I want everybody thinking about one sentence. Uh -huh, Anna, something that you're not allowed to do that is prohibited for you. Okay. I can't uh, talk in a lot at night, maybe. Okay, you can talk a lot at night. Okay, well, that's fair enough. All right, let me see. Mireya, can you tell us something that you are not allowed to do that is like prohibited? I can be, I can't be outside of my home in the middle of the night. Yeah, Mireya, that's not safe, okay? <laughs> All right, it's not only that you're not allowed to, but it's not a very good idea. All right, let's see. Javier, can you can you think of something? Can you think of something that you're not allowed to do? Javier, I cannot hear you. Can you can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Um I I don't know. I I maybe um maybe a smoke. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, nice. Fair, can you tell us something that you're not allowed to do, Fair? To do a big mess in a public place. <laughs> all right, very good. Interesting, all right, Andrea? Can you think of something that you're not allowed to do? Uh, I can push in my nose or getting a tattoo. Oh, Andrea, all right, okay, interesting. <laughs> Hector, something that you're not allowed to do. Y se ríe, el que se ríe. Solo es una de acuerdo. Ajá, Hector. No, 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 teacher. So I can. Um, I cannot say nasty words, for example. Ah, okay. All right. Or, uh, what yeah. is the correct? Uh, you cannot swear or curse. You're not allowed to swear or curse, like maldecir or like say bad words. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Very good. Okay. Claudia. Yeah. Thank you, Hector. Claudia, mm -hmm. what are you not allowed to do, Claudita? I don't know. Is maybe um, maybe everything is allowed. Everything is allowed. Uh -huh, Whoa, but like maybe <laughs> She's maybe thinking, but eh? not everything I have to do. <laughs> okay. All right. I see. Interesting. All right. Very good. Jenny, what about you, Jenny? Can you think of something that you're not allowed to do? I can't go to bed late. Ah, oh, all right, interesting, very good. Sahira, can you tell us something that you're not allowed to do? Mm, when the cats pass on the roof, maybe? I don't like it. Oh, okay, so you're not, you're, okay, all right. So do you, let, do you have a cat, Sahira? Yes. So you don't <laughs> let your cat go out, all right, that's okay. All right, let's mm. see. Um. Jose Mariano, tell us something that you're not allowed to do. I'm not allowed to walk naked on the street. <laughs> I don't think anybody is, Jose. Very good. <laughs> nice. Very good. Um, Gabriela, any ideas? Can you tell us something that you're not allowed to do? Maybe... Now I can stop working because I want to save money for the future. All right, so you're not allowed to stop working then. All right, very good, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Alexander, something that you're not allowed to do. I'm not allowed to have a bury at home. <laughs> oh, 
Alex. All right, interesting. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, so this is what we're going to be talking about today: permission, obligations, and prohibitions. All right, something that when someone is something is prohibited, that means that you can't do, that you're not allowed to do. All right. Then you have permissions. That means that you can do it. All right. For example, you say, okay, Jennifer was saying I can't I uh, go to sleep late but I can stay up like uh, at a reasonable hour, all right? Like maybe, I don't know, 11 or something, all right? But at one or two, no, she's not allowed to do that. So when we have like some permissions, we can like manage, all right? And then we have obligations, all right? Something that expresses an obligation. Can someone tell me what are you obligated to do? Think about something that is an obligation for you. I have to sleep. Okay. To pay the bills. You have to pay the bills. Oh, no. Sorry, Hector, say it again. I must invest my job. Okay, yes, that's your obligation. All right, someone else? I have yeah. to do the laundry. Ah, very good, Jenny, very good. All right, something else, Javi? Javier, something that you are obligated to do. Um, if you want to uh, enter this class, you, you need to, to use a um, headphone mm -hmm. or microphone, for example. Right. To, to have a good uh, Wi-Fi signal. Right. Okay. Yeah, like connection, right? Okay. Connection. So that's an obligation for you to be in class, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Very good. Okay. So anybody else? One more? Uh huh. What else? Take are you out guys? The, the trash. <laughs> very good. So, you know, yeah, you're obligated to do that. All right. You have to take the trash. All right. Very good. Okay. So as you notice, guys, uh, when we talk about uh, prohibition, obligation, or permission, is something that we do every day all right or we don't do every day because either we're not allowed to or we can't do it all right so this is what we're going to be talking about today the topic is not very difficult all right so we're going to do it right now i'm going to show you the video quickly all right and then i'm going to be pausing it and then i'll show you a ppt and then we'll have some exercises all right very good just give me a second guys give me one quick second All right, um, okay, so here I'm gonna show you guys the video. Here, it's here. All right, so here we have it. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Can you guys see? Yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. very good. Okay, so these are the three things that we've been talking about and I'm gonna show it to you. I know that you can watch this on your own, but I just wanna uh, play it quickly and then we'll walk you through it, all right? Just give me one second here. All right. And prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. All right. So here, I'm going to stop it right now. You notice we have permission, you notice we have obligation, and you notice we have prohibition, all right? Now, can you tell me what are they using uh, for permission? What words, what special words are they using for you to have permission to do it? Can. Can and, allowed and, and allowed allow to. Allow. Excellent, all right? Now. Can is for everybody. I can, he can, you can, we can, they can. All right? No changes there. All right? And allow to is going to remain the same. The only difference is, for example, I say, Javier is allowed to. I am allowed to. We are allowed to. So the difference here is the verb, uh, the usage of the verb be. But allow to is the same for everybody. Okay? Because it's permission, they are affirmative, okay? I can say, oh, you can uh, turn on your, your microphones. 
you are allowed to turn off your uh, cameras right now, all right? So because I'm, I'm giving you permission, they are positive, okay? Because I'm allowing you to do it, okay? Now, when we talk about obligation, what special words are we using here? No. Did I did I freeze myself? Hola, hola. Yeah, Am you I are, back? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna touch this thing. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. So I was asking you for obligation. What are we using as the special words? Have, have to, to and uh, have, have got to. to. Excellent. Have, have to and have got to. All right. Now, what happens if I say Anna? What? I say Anna have to come here. Is that okay? Anna, Anna has. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. So, Anna has to come here. I have to change the have for has because I'm talking about third person singular. All right? Very good. And what about you have got to take off your shoes? Have got to. If I'm referring to um, Jennifer, am I gonna say Jennifer have got to take her shoes off? No. What am I gonna say? Has got, has got to. Has got to. Has got to, very good, all right. Very good. So here on obligation, because we're using have to, that one changes to has to, and the same thing here. All right. Now, got to is going to remain the same. Okay. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes. 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 All right. Now let's go on to prohibition. Hay un micrófono abierto y está con mucho ruido. Si me ayudan con eso, thank you. All right. Prohibition, all right, we have. What are the special words that we're using? Can't, uh, aren't, allowed to. Are we using aren't allowed to or something else? Isn't. Isn't, maybe. Don't conjugate it. Isn't allowed to. All right, ahí lo está conjugando, y si no lo conjugo? Or not, is not. not. No, lo seguimos conjugando. Let's go back to the positive one. Allowed to. Este ya va de gracia porque ya lo conjugamos. Are allowed to. But the one that we're using is allowed to. What if it's negative? Aren't allowed to. Si conjugado, si me queda aren't allowed to or isn't allowed to, I'm not allowed to. Pero la estructura como tal, ¿cómo sería? I'm not allowed to. Not, 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 only not. Not allowed to. All right. Si usted se fija solo en la estructura, sería not allowed to. Lo conjugo, I conjugate it, and then I have are not allowed to, is not allowed to, I am not allowed to. Do you understand the difference? The negative form is only not allowed yeah. to. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, let's okay. continue here. Yeah, very good. So here, they, this is, is exactly the opposite of, as permission. Permission is affirmative. And prohibition is the opposite, is negative, all right? And obligation is a little bit different because you're using have to or have got to. All right, let's continue here. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can See, notice not be allowed to. This is the structure. Ya cuando tomo esa estructura y la conjugo, me sale aren't allowed to, isn't allowed to, I'm not allowed to, okay? Okay. All right, let's continue. Can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. 
for obligation have to or have got to are used you have to pay rent he's got to pick up the trash write one example for permit all right okay and as i said to you guys have changes to has if i'm talking about third person singular as well as have got to changes to has got to all right if i'm using third person singular all right what i want you to do right now guys and by the way there's only one person that has written on the discussion box i do want you to participate and do the discussions box because i do check them all right and usually i make a comment on your comment okay so i do invite you to do that after all right now what i want you to do task number one i want you to answer these questions what can you do what are you allowed to do what do you have to do do it right now i'll give you two minutes think about it and write your answers all right Question one, what can you do about, you know, permission and stuff? What are you allowed to do? What do you have to do? All right, think about it right now. We're gonna share them. Hi, Navy. Good evening, Tisha. Teacher, what have to do with the allow to? Sorry, say it again. What have to do with the word allow to? That sense? Yeah, you have to make you a sentence. Yeah, you have to make a sentence saying, what are you allowed to do? And you say, I am allowed to, and then you tell me what you're allowed to do. Oh, it's personal. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. The one and two, but I don't know why the third one. The third one was, <laughs> what do you have to do? As an obligation, what do you have to do? Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys finished? Yeah. All right, everybody else is finished? Is everybody else finished? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, just give me one second here. Yes. Just give me a second, one quick second here. I just need to finish something for you guys here. All right, let's see. Um, who wants to tell me the first, I mean, your sentences? I need a volunteer to tell me the sentences that you guys came up with. Uh, All right, good. yeah, yeah, any of them, Fer. Okay. I about about permission i can go to the beach with my friends okay about allowed to salvadorians mm -hmm. are not allowed to visit the united states without visa <laughs> yeah we were not allowed to uh, yeah but, okay and Obligation. I have to be. I have to behave in public spaces. Excellent, fair. Thank you very much. All right, fair. Can you choose someone else from your classmates? Yeah. Uh, Take to myself. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I. Uh, what can I do? I can watch any movie or series on Netflix. Okay. What are uh, what are you allowed to do? Mm -hmm. I am allowed to go wherever I want. Wow, uh, very good. Uh -huh. uh, what do you have to do? I have to work in that firm. All right, all right, very good. Hector, can you choose someone else, please, Hector? Um, my friend, Javier Canales. All right, Javier, very good. Okay. I um he can uh, go to play football. Okay. Uh he he he's allowed to go to bed at eleven PM. Oh, okay. And he hasn't um, drink alcohol. Ah, he's not allowed to drink alcohol. He hasn't drunk alcohol. All right, very good. Okay, one more, Javier. Can you choose someone else from your classmates? Okay, uh, Jose Mariano. All right, Jose. I haven't finished this. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Jose. All right. Uh, Javier, can you choose someone else then? Uh, uh, Alexander. All right, Alexander. Alex, uh huh. Okay, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. First one I can go to play basketball after May the household shorts. Yeah, good. Okay, I'm allowed to watch TV after 10 p.m. Oh. And I have to use a mask when I go to anywhere. That's right. Very good, Alexander. That's a very nice uh, sentence. Very good. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you. I don't know if someone else wanted to share the answers or you're okay, and then I can move on. 
No, no volunteers. What ah, okay, thank you. Yes, thank Aida. You. I for you very well. Sahira? Okay, I can go dancing with my friends. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. mm, that uh, I have to do homework for the university. Uh -huh. And the third, people can talk in the bank. <laughs> right, very good. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. I'm going to share, I'm going to show you this right now, guys that it's talking about well there are some rules that i just want you guys to remember okay we're talking about prohibition obligation and permission all right but there are some things that i want you to remember okay so i'm going to show you these here first okay and then i'm going to go back we're going to go backwards here the meanings of model verbs remember that in this case mass can have to they are model verbs are not allowed to all right now when you have a strong obligation you say must all right, and when it's a prohibition, you say mustn't. We don't really use it that much, but it does exist, all right? We say can for permission or can't for absence of permission. In other words, you're not allowed to, okay? Have to is obligation because I feel that I need to do it and don't have to is the absence of obligation. For example, you say, you don't have to, this is not true. Uh, you don't have to wear a mask everywhere you go. That's not true. That's only an example, all right? But if that happens in the future, then it's an absence of, of, of obligation. Right now, everybody has to wear a mask, okay? So here is the opposite, all right? I'm just letting you that so you guys know it for future reference. Then we have here features of modal verbs. I've been telling you since yesterday that modal verbs are a special family, okay? They are not the same as the verbs we usually use okay so these are like some features some characteristics of model verbs that you need to remember number one model verbs are invariable all right so they have one form all right of all the first second and third form that means you do not add s in the third person okay so they're going to be the same can he can you can they can we can they can must i must you must he must they must we must it must all right um i don't know um uh, should i should you should they should everybody should okay so that means that they don't change okay so they are not changeable i mean they don't they don't believe on the rule all right example you must study she must study he must study, all right? If you notice, must is for everybody. And because you have a modal verb, the following verb is on the base form. A study, a study, study. It doesn't change, okay? Whoops, that wasn't meant to be. Hold on, doesn't matter. Here we have, continue with the features of modal verbs, number two. Eso ya lo deberían de saber y sé que ya lo saben, pero lo quise poner como recordatorio, all right? Number two, model verbs don't have do or does or did to su uh, support, all right? They don't have that support. In interrogative and negative sentences, you say, must you study? Do, uh, can I go now, all right? I mustn't or I must not eat ice cream because I've got the flu. I can't go out because my mom told me to clean up my room. You cannot say, I, uh, for example, I can't, I can't don't go out, all right? That's impossible, all right? You can never, ever, ever do that, all right? That's why yesterday I told you that model verbs are their own negative, they are their own questions. They don't use auxiliaries, okay? They don't need them. Let's continue here. Number three, after modal verbs, you use infinitives or infinitive forms of a verb without two, a bare infinitive. When I say bare infinitive, it means that the two is omitted, all right? Mm -hmm. Example, I must sleep well. I can swim. Cuando estamos aprendiendo, de repente hacemos esto. I can to swim. Pero ya ustedes están intermedio, tres. Pero ya no están aprendiendo en básico uno. 
please do not say I can't do swim porque me va a dar algo. All right, don't do that. All right, you have to say I can swim. You cannot say jamás de los jamás is I must to sleep. All right, no, you can't. I must sleep. Yes, this is an infinitive. Okay, sleep. Por eso está en su forma base, pero estamos usándolo en, en el bare infinitive. Bare infinitive quiere decir el infinitivo sin la partícula tú. All right? Yes, you guys understand that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Right. Yes. Very good. In the same, if we yes. use the verb go, for example, I must go to church. Yeah. Or I must go to church. No. A very good question, actually. Very, very good question. De repente, we have I must go to church. Tú es una preposición. All right. Si está antes Hola. del verbo, es una partícula. Diferente. Oh, okay. Es la misma palabra. All right, pero gramaticalmente el nombre es diferente y la posición es diferente. Okay, All right, yes, Thanks. very good. So, Alex, if it's after, it's fine. All right, I must go to the library. I see. Never before. Or never before. After. Yes, never before because you're using it as a very infinitive, uh, Alex. All right. All right. Thanks, All right. teacher. Very good. Yeah. Unless, unless the modal verb ya lo traiga. I have to. All right, I have All to right. study. Ahí sí, porque ya lleva el tú, ahí ya lo lleva. All right, okay. ahora lo que no puede hacer es I have to to study. All right, you can <laughs> say understand. that, right? Yes, very good. Okay, yeah. any, thank, any, you. Any, thank you, Alex. The, does anybody else have a question? No questions? No, Excellent, clear. guys, you're very good. All right, let's continue here. Okay, uh, stuff, uh, okay, this one is the last exception or feature number five. The exception is have to. Y lo que estábamos hablando anteriormente. It has S in the third form. It's the exception. Mire, aquí dice exception. All right, she has to study hard. But I have to study hard. We have to study hard. They have to study hard. But Sahira has to study hard for university. Fer has to study hard for his test. All right? Has to. All right? Ese sí cambia. Es, es the exception. B, have to, has do support. I don't have to study. Ese sí lleva el don't. All right? Don't have to. Por eso es exception. All right? And have to has past participle and future tense. I had to study hard yesterday. Mire aquí, ese sí lleva un tiempo verbal. Pero es la excepción. El have to es la excepción. Los demás no. All right. I'll have to study hard tomorrow. Future. Only have to. Okay. All right. Vamos bien. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. If you see this sign, can you just, can someone tell me a sentence using can't are not allowed to or you're not permitted to? You're not allowed to, to turn on the right. To turn, okay, to, uh, you're not allowed to make a right turn. Very good, you're not allowed to make a right turn. Very good. All right, someone else to make this one. You can't smoke. You can't smoke, all right, or you're not allowed to smoke or you're not permitted to smoke. Very good. What about this one? <laughs> You have you to, need shower. to take a shower. You need to take a shower, all right? Or you have to take a shower or you must take a shower. You must take a shower when you come back from outside because of the COVID, all right? Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Every time. All right, very nice. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm very, like, you know. Anyway, what about this one? Uh huh. You can't swim. You can't swim. You, can't swim. you can't swim, or you're not allowed to swim, or you're not permitted to swim. All right, very good. What about this one? You have to be 13. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be 13 and up to watch the movie, right, or something, or to go to I don't know somewhere. All right, what about this one here? Uh, you must, uh, you must be, 
No. Criminal drive. Criminal drive. Criminal drive. Fifteen. You must drive. drive. Less than fifty. No. No more than 50 kilometers per hour, perhaps. Very good. Okay, that's the speed limit. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a picture of this, please. Ready? Yeah. yeah. And now I want you to take a picture of this. Hold on, I'm just gonna make it bigger. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to make as many sentences as you can with your group using uh, can, allowed to, have to, don't have to, well, not have to, sorry, we have got to, can't, and not allowed to. All right. So try to make because in the ones that you have the circles and the line, you're not allowed to. But you can change to can't, not allowed to, not permitted to. You mustn't also, all right? So go ahead and make as many sentences as you can with your groups, okay? Ready? Okay. There you go. Hi, Jose.
Hi, Jose. Hi, Alex. Hi, teacher Nadi. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? I think we're good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. I'm glad to hear. This is, I have only one question. Yes, uh, Alex. In the first picture with the green circle, mm -hmm. we have to use only permission or we can use prohibition? I mean, no you can, you, I mean, I chose those ones because those are like either you can use them for permission or obligation. All right. And then the red circles, they are like prohibitions. Prohibition. Right. Okay. And as long as you do the sentences, it's okay. I mean, you, you guys choose and decide. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Okay, for the obligation. We need to change the number four this time with the bottle. Uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Javier. Hi, Hector. How are you guys doing? Uh, we are okay in the number four. <laughs> okay. Teacher, teacher I, yes. I, I, uh, for example, in... in in the three picture yes uh, with the arrow yeah. this one yes uh, it's correct uh, it's allowed go straight ahead yeah yeah you're allowed to go straight ahead allowed yeah okay mm -hmm. good well you can say you can go straight ahead right if it's go permission straight ahead. yeah mm -hmm. yes. uh-huh mm -hmm. It's a lot. Uh, um, uh, I, 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 yes, Hector. It, oh, sorry, Javier, go ahead. In this museum, is is allowed to uh, take a picture. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. if if there's a sign, for example, for number six, right? This one. Yeah. You can say, yeah, you can say you are allowed to take pictures. You can take pictures. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're allowed to take pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This this screen is, is positive. Yeah, I chose these uh, signs because maybe you can play with permission and obligation, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You must take your dog for a walk, for example, to say something. All right. Mm -hmm. Or you must uh, eat healthy food. All right, for the hamburger mm -hmm. and the shake. All right, but it's it's as long uh, Javier and Hector as you're doing the sentences, that's okay. But when I chose this picture, I chose for you guys to make like positive sentences, and mm -hmm. the other one with the red circles, mm -hmm. those are like prohibitions. Okay. Prohibition. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the green one are for. They can be for for permission or... and obligation, uh -huh. allowed to or can or have to, uh -huh, uh -huh. if you want to, just to ah, make okay. things up, you know, like, for example, mm -hmm. you have to ride a bike to school. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. You can, you can play around with those type of sentences, Hector. Uh, okay. Okay. For example, in the, the ice cream, Javier, I write it like, um, She's allowed to take an ice cream once mm, a month. Excellent. <laughs> once okay. a week, Hector. Oh, wow. Once a week. I love ice okay, cream. <laughs> once a week. Teacher is allowed to take an ice Yay, cream. Yay, very go good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like that sentence, Hector. Very good. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. The camera? Did you do the camera? The, uh, it's allowed to take a picture. Yeah. Hey, what about this okay. one? Yeah, you have to smile. <laughs> right. With yeah. a number you two, right? Smile. Yeah. Or like an obligation, you have to smile. <laughs> have to smile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I write it. Uh, you have to smile every day if you have eaten. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> or if you have received your English class. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Very be. good. Yeah. All right. Very good. For example, oh. when when we we visit um a, a, some restaurant, uh, is the waitress 
says, um, what do you prefer? Uh, a smoke area or uh -huh. area or don't smoke area? Or non-smoking area, right. Non area. Yes, very good, Javier, yeah. nice. Very good, yeah. In a question form, Javier? Or is not allowed to make a question? <laughs> 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 okay. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go back to the main session. All right. It's okay if you did not finish. The idea is to like at least make a couple of sentences. All right. And then we can check them. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Okay. Hi, Jenny. All right, let's see. Jenny, can you tell us one example? Any of the sentences you chose? Okay. Uh, you can't smoke. Okay. Or you're not you're not allowed to use your cell phone in class excellent yeah very good you're not allowed to use your cell phone in class nice all right Mireya, can you tell me one of your sentences that you came up with you can walk on the sidewalk oh all right very good all right andrea can you share another one with me you can enter in a restaurant with your job okay very good all right anna can you tell me one sentence that you came up with anna your microphone is off whatever you want sure yeah yeah whatever you whatever uh sentence you want yeah okay um that uh, prohibition mm -hmm. is uh, you aren't allowed to take a picture here. Okay, very good, nice, nice sentence. All right, very good. All right, guys, um, I will let you go right now because I have another class to teach. All right, so uh, remember tomorrow, no class, Monday, no class. All right, I will see you Tuesday. All right, from Tuesday okay. through Friday, and we finish. Okay. So please work okay. on the platform, okay? And have a very nice long weekend. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. All right? Thank okay, you. guys. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. Have a nice Everybody. weekend. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.